Archie, I think you were at Cheltenham Town firstly, I think uh, almost as young as eight or nine. Now yeah, you're here nine, yeah. signing a professional contract for the first time. It's been a long journey, but it must be a journey you're very happy to have achieved. Yeah, it's unbelievable, really. You can't, yeah. You just never think it's actually going to happen when you're at those age, but just excited that it has happened. And, yeah, it's been amazing, really. For the many years you've obviously watched Chapman Town players, I know you've gone to away games, you've been to home games at the Johnny Rock Stadium for many years. What's it like to know now that you're officially going to be part of that sort of squad list moving forward? It doesn't really feel real to be honest, so just can't wait for it to start, so then it feels real and then you're with them, and yeah, it's crazy really. You never think it is going to happen, ever. It's obviously been a, an interesting time recently, the back end of the season for you. Second year scholars waiting to hear whether or not you were being offered the opportunity. Um, when it did come about, um, how did it sort of come about for you when you got told by, by, the, by the coaches here? Uh, well, we all had our meetings on the same day. And then I went in and then there was Gaffer, Pete and Tuan. And then like Pete uh, spoke and said about what he thinks. And then Tuan just said, well, I'll just let you know. And then he just said it to me. Mm. And, then that, yeah, and then Gaffer spoke after. There's been and, a lot of hard work to get here. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're well aware that the, the work's going to get even harder now. Yeah, it definitely will. Yeah, if Gaffer, that's what Gaffer said. He said it'll be a lot harder now. You've got to try, if you go on loan or if you're with the first team, try to make an impression and make an impression in pre season. So that's what I try and do. You mentioned going on loan. You've already been on loan twice this year to Lydney and, of course, to Slimbridge. Yeah. Slimbridge was quite a long spell on loan. For you, how important was that for, you, for oh, your development? That was very massive, I think, because it's more real. It's what more the first team's like. We're academy football, we're playing like the same ages, and the score doesn't overly matter, but to them, everything is about score, not performance. And it helps you to get into that mindset of just making sure you win and obviously playing well. And, yeah. Yeah, crucial to get that experience out on loan, but you have also been part of the first team match day squads for Checker Trade Trophy Games and of course I think on the bench in the Football League as well on occasions. Um, how useful for you is that to know that you've had those experiences already? Well yeah, they're useful as well because like, you get to know them a bit more, the first team players get to know who you are, so you feel a bit more comfortable like, around them, so like next year it won't be like a massive difference, mm. which is good. And then yeah, you get to see what they're like before games, how they prepare, so you can try and do that as well. Yeah, the under-18s and first team train, of course, here at the training ground together. Um, how good is it to have that sort of integration between the two groups being almost, you know, eye to eye almost on the training pitches? No, it is good because like you can go over, join in with their sessions if they need somewhere. So you can get used to how they train, so you can try to train like that all the time. And then you can also just get, see what they do, like pre-ab things, after training sessions, how they look after us. So it's very good, yeah. I'm sure a lot of Chapman fans have seen you play perhaps in the FA Youth Cup or perhaps even for the under-18s down here. Um, what sort of player is Archie Brennan going to be when he gets the chance to don the Chapman first team shirt? Just a, well, first and foremost, hard-working player that just gets around the pitch and just, uh, yeah, just a hard-working player. <laughs> when you see the way the team's been set up and, the, you know, the year just gone under Michael Duff since he's come in, being a 3-5-2 team, the way they play, of course that could potentially change for next season, but, you know, you look at the way they play and do you feel like you fully understand that and you've yeah. been integrated into that? Uh, with the 18s, we've pretty much done that for the majority of the year, like try and mimic the first team, so... Then if you don't ever travel over, then you know what to do, you know the roles and all that, which is good. And yeah, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. And it must be fantastic, you know, for all the coaches and for all the different people you've played with throughout the youth system at Cheltenham all through the years, to know that you've now got to this point it must be superb for you and superb for them. Well, yeah, there's a lot of people that help you get to this point, like schools, coaches, scouts who get you here, and then Pete, obviously, and Tuan mainly in the last few years. But yeah, it's been very good. And it's good for them as well as me. And now for you, a good chance to enjoy the summer. Obviously, work hard to get ready for pre-season, but also enjoy seeing who comes in, the new faces, and who agrees new contracts as well. Yeah, you'll see the faces now, and you think, actually, they're your teammates, not just their Chapman Town first team players. So it'd be quite weird, but it'd be good. And hopefully come back fit, ready to go.